me Vicky and English speaking trainer as well as public speaking trainer. So being a trainer, being a public speaker, this is my responsibility to train the trainees. So अपने institute पे हम लोग and 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 we are not talking from. What's that once more? We are not talking from. एक के बाद एक classes के साथ हम लोग आ रहे हैं. Today once again I have made this class a story telling class. They have brought a story. आप कुछ स्टोरी की बीच हॉरिबल है तो कुछ इंटरेस्टिंग होती है तो स्टोरी बताने का भी अलग तरीका होता है वी हैव टू टेल अ स्टोरी विद आवर बॉडी लैंग्वेज विद आवर एक्सप्रेशन तभी तो मजा आता है कुछ स्टोरी में मजेदार बनाने के लिए हम उसमें क्या डालते हैं बॉडी लैंग्वेज और एक्सप्रेशन ठीक उसी तरह से ऑल माई ट्रेडीज है ब्रॉड देयर स्टोरी एंड दे आर जस्ट गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट देयर स्टोरीज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू लेट सी वॉट वुड हैपन चलिए देखते हैं क्या होता है स्टोरी में क्या क्या होना चाहिए क्या क्या नहीं होना चाहिए कैसे बताते हैं वो आज मैं इन लोग से सीखूंगा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू इन्वाइट Let's give a huge round of applause for Mr. Ravi. Come on, Ravi. Ah, Ravi. You were just playing it, okay? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, my dear listeners. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Such a generous people and audience providing me this great opportunity to speak before you. Today, I'm going to talk about a horrible story. I brought a horrible story for you. My story, the name, the title of my story is the war, the the blood drinker witch. So I'm going to start my story. I love you. I love you. I love you. The story of a man who is standing in front of the bank, in front of the at the station, a bus station. He was standing, and there was no anyone. He stood in front of the speakers. There was no anyone looking around everywhere. As he turned his face right next to him, there was a beautiful girl. And the voice is coming out from the bus station. The the sound like this. Ooh, the voice coming out. He scared so much, and the girl. The girl was just only distance. She was only for away ten meters. She ran away from him, and she didn't say. And suddenly, the bus came. The bus came. The mother, the first, the man, get, got in the bus and sit. And the the girl also come and sit in the bus. And while sitting, the man, he was. pretending that to god god please send this girl on my chair he was saying and he was start smiling by seeing the windows mirror he was seeing and smiling and saying to the god god please send this girl on my chair and as he predict the god has sent him on his chair she said the The bus started moving ahead. The bus started moving ahead. And after some time, the bus conductor came and said, "Hey, what are you doing? Where where do I cut yourself? Where do I cut your ticket?" The man said, "I have to go to Mumbai." He cut he cut the ticket of Mumbai and gave it to him. He gave the money to him. and he didn't say anything but the surprise of is that he didn't ask to the girl and the girl also was sitting just right next to him but he didn't ask he went again he think about that why did he not ask to him ask to her why did she why did he didn't ask to her he surprised to know and the the bus started moving ahead very gradually and after some time he didn't say just smiling while say saying his face on the windows mirror and he didn't say anything 
and the bus stop to the next bus station and stop didn't say anything many of people just got in the bus and stood and one of them started to was about to sit just right next to me he got he got angry he said what did you do what are you doing are you mad he can't you able to see that girl he sees sitting just right next to me you can't you able to see he said hey ma'am what are you doing what are you talking about which girl are you talking about there is no any girl and he said the conductor came and said hey what are you doing here what the hell is going on in this he said like this and they stopped and said they started arguing with each other with each other they didn't say the conductor came and handle the situation handle all the situation and they said the bus start moving ahead but the the sound the horrible sound coming out but he was he didn't say anything just looking the situation the bus conductor went and this the bus started moving ahead one by one and gradually moving ahead the bus stopped to the next railway station he started nothing did they start he got off from the station and he stood he didn't say anything he was walking like this by gradually in the middle the time of that is 12 o'clock the midnight 12 o'clock he was doing walking along was doing and then he saw the same girl who was just sitting right next to him he he saw the girl was looking there and said she said that hey ma'am hi i want to come along with you he scared he said who you are i saw you in the bus but right now you are here how did it happen how the situation is happening he said he scared and by his hands and his mouth started shivering he started shivering he didn't say anything but he he coming he was along going with her and suddenly the girl started laughing in the air whiles and her hair was you know flying in the air her face was so so horrible his eye her eyes so red full and the blood was coming out from his from her eyes he said she said he didn't say and she moving ahead she said just watch and say you don't know me don't know me ha huh? you don't know me she said just moving ahead he didn't see and see she suddenly came to him and said she raised her hand and put her hand on to her neck and he started cursing he started cursing it nay the blood was coming out from his neck she started drinking the flowing blood and after some time he was about to die but suddenly he called of a friend that he had called of a friend the friend came into him and said what happened what is going on suddenly he saw there was a no any which the which disappeared yeah the dis is disappeared and see the blood was flowing out from his neck the the boy came and this is how he was managed to save his life thank you so much for that wow.